These are the few of the 3 8 plywood parts we cut out. The smaller parts, the side butt straps, and the uh, mass step material, and uh, the runner plank fuselage connection. I'm making the uh, 3 8 plywood bulkheads and I picked uh, station number two as an example. First thing I did was I drew the width here and here's a line for the width of the thing and then we also have a line up here for the height. And then what your next thing is you want to put a center line right down there into another piece of wood so you'll have a spot for your trammel point pivot to rest on. You'll need to get a set of trammel points to do your radiuses because they're pretty large radiuses. Uh, I didn't have some so I just made up this simple one. It's just basically a stick with a hole drilled in it and stick a pencil through. And then for the adjusting part I just made a box that fits the stick and I put a drywall screw in and bent it over and you just screw it in and it tightens up on the stick and then on the other side I drove a nail in a little bit cut off the head and then resharpened it for your pivot point and this just fits on the stick right here like that and then you get it where you want it and you just tighten the screw and it'll stay put. And there's your trammel point. Okay, on the plan, the uh, plan calls out a certain radius for each bulkhead from here to here to strike an arc. So basically, you just read the plan, find the correct radius number, set your trammel point accordingly. Come down here and start at the top with your pin. Make a mark, flip it over, and then draw your line. Now we need to determine how much material we want left here on this arc because it's hollow in here. Now on this particular one, the plan calls out for six and seven eighths. So measure up six and seven eighths from the bottom and make a mark. Then we can transfer that mark over here. Over here. Make a line. And then these legs here are inch and a half this way. So I already know this is inch and a half square. So draw a line up there. And we'll draw a line up here. And now we need to put a nice radius in here. 
Okay, our next step is drawing these radiuses in. So, we've got inch and five eighths. So what I've done is put the uh, point on the uh, pivot point on the intersection, make a mark, make a mark, come down here, make a mark, do the same on this side, and then you can make an intersection here using that information. And here. And then all I get to do is come back. Now those be where the pivot point is. The next thing we want to do is cut out or draw for notching for your stem clamp or your bottom chine and your deck stringers. Now on the plan I call this the upper side stringer and this is the lower side stringer. The proper name is stem clamp and bottom chine. What I've done is I've cut out a block that's the same size as the stringers in cross sections. It's three quarters by inch and a half. That's for the upper ones. So basically you want to put this up here until this intersects right there. Like so. A little bit higher. And then draw this in. Do the same over here. And on the deck stringers, you measure out the appropriate length, as the plan calls out for. And this one will get square to help us keep it straight. Let's see. Just going to draw a line there. Move that over. Draw a line here. And we'll take our little block, line that up. Okay, and the bottom ones are going to be an inch high. So we're going to make a little mark at an inch. That there at an inch. In. done is we've uh, screwed down the bulkheads on the table because uh, we're making uh, four sets and then we're going to put the uh, actual bulkhead material down on top of it screw it down and then cut it out with a router Five sets, including the one on the rack. 